Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Brussels 18, 1893, okie dokie. Right, all right, well, you know how a lot of people say that 2013 was the year of Feld because he put out four games, um, what was a uh, uh, Bora Bora, Bruise, and Rialto and Amerigo. Uh, actually, I don't think people realized he actually put out a fifth, and it's this game. This game is spiritually, anyway, it's, it's not from Sevenfeld, don't get me wrong, it's from a wonderful new talented designer, Etienne Esprim uh, Espremont. Um, I cannot wait to see what else he produces because this game is amazing. But if you had told me that this was Stefan Feld's latest game, I would completely believe you because this thing definitely has the same depth and interconnectivity of dozens of different, not dozens, quite dozens, but a lot of inter meshing, interconnected um, mechanisms that really reminds me of a Trajan. You know, because there's so, the, you know, the the worker placement on this board is amazing in that it is worker placement, standard worker placement, but it's also an auction, but it's also a, uh, what do you call it, uh, an area majority, all three at the same time. That's amazing that you get that much depth, and every worker you place in this game matters so much. But then on top of that, placing workers over here has completely different consequences to your actions, and you, and you can force them to lose, but they're so powerful. Um, you know, the end game scoring, you know, there's so many ways to score points in this game, and you have so much control over how you can supplement those and, and enhance those, those uh, point generating revenues. This marketplace, which is so interactive, as I am making my art pieces more and more valuable, I'm baking, making yours less and less. But if I cross over a certain threshold, yours start becoming valuable again. So I have to be careful about how far I move them. And you know, and having the, the uh, rich aristocratic friends who can really help you out of a bind, but they'll put your guys in jail if you want to activate them. But they can be, oh, it's just amazing. There is so much. The difference between you know building buildings with a cheap crap material, but is very cheap. You could build buildings really easily just to get them done so you can score points for having them built, as opposed to taking the extra time to use the royal proper materials. But that using the proper ones you, gives you everything. This game is so well thought out. I, I very much regret now, well this is the second time. First time was with Russian Railroads and now with this. I believe uh, my top 10 of 2013 video I made um, on Christmas Day last year is way out of date. Because I'm pretty sure um, come April or May when I update, this thing's going to make the top 10. This is an excellent, excellent game. Jen, I enjoy it quite a bit. Fires on all cylinders. It's easy. Well, not. I was going to say easy to understand. It's, it's not. Obviously, there's a complex, it's a really robust simulation of a million things that are going on. But, um, you know, everything is relatively intuitive. It's thematically grounded enough for me. To me, I understand the reason this auction exists and why these area controls exist and, and you know, and why it's uh, unsavory to, you know, try to muscle favors out of people and that's why you might get yourself thrown in jail and really, really clever. Absolutely wonderful game. Jen and I enjoy it a lot. Definitely a keeper. Very, very confident. I mean, don't you know, hold me to it. I mean, heck, I, there's still a bunch of games I haven't played yet. But at this point, I'm very confident that this is, is going to score very, very high and possibly one of our top 10 games of 2013. Brussels 1893. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. Sorry for any mistakes. Sorry for the uh, kind of, you know, phasing in and out during the, the gameplay run through. Ah, well, uh, I just got a little carried away there. But hopefully, you now know whether this game would be of interest to you. I mean, again... Spoiler alert, if you're a Feld fan, you will not go wrong with this game. Um, you know, it's touched by the master himself. But again, congratulations to the designer, to the publishers. Great, great game, Jen. I absolutely love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.